Okay, this is section two of N. Gregory Mancus, chapter three on interdependence and the gains from trade. And we, as we start our section, we're going to be talking about Ricardo's model of satisfying wants and needs in a global economy. There are basically two choices. One, we can be economically self-sufficient, or two, we can specialize and trade with others, leading to economic interdependence, i.e. globalization. And we will obviously be focusing on item two, specialization and trade with others. Okay, now this is a very important table. It shows as the title states, the production opportunities of the farmer and the rancher. It's in two parts. Number one, the hours needed to make one pound of meat and potatoes. And then the second part, the amount produced in 40 hours. As you can see, for the farmer, it takes 20 hours to make a pound of, of meat and 10 hours to make a pound of potatoes. And for the rancher, one hour to make one pound of meat and eight hours to make one pound of potatoes. In 40 hours, if you multiply this by, um, by two, for if you basically multiply all those hours by the number it takes to um, get 40, you would get two pounds in 40 hours. Um, four pounds in 40 hours for the rent for the farmer, 40 pounds in 40 hours for the rancher, five pounds in 40 hours for the rancher. You can also see that the rancher is by far the most productive. Now, future slides are going to focus on the second part, the amount produced in 40 hours. Okay, we continue. Now we're going to look at the farmer's production possibilities. And as you can see, the farmer can produce either two pounds of meat or four pounds of potatoes, or if he or she wants a little bit of both, um, one pound of meat and one, four, two pounds of potatoes. For the farmer, production possibilities are a bit greater. The farmer can produce either 40 pounds of meat or 5 pounds of potatoes or some combination in between, 20 and 2.5. So the rancher has far greater production possibilities than the farmer does. Now as a summary of self-sufficiency without trade, the farmer can produce 1 pound of meat, 2 pounds of potatoes, the rancher 20 pounds of meat, and 2.5 pounds of potatoes. Now, our next slide is going to show the two parties trading with each other. Now, with trade, what they produce, and this is assuming they want to trade, uh, this is an assumption that they actually want to trade in the first place, farmer will specialize and produce only potatoes. Rancher will specialize and produce mostly meat. Then they trade. The one side of the trade is the flip side of the other. And then they consume A star and B star. And as you can see from the next few slides, the farmer is going to get far more meat and potatoes than he or she did under self-sufficiency. The rancher, too, is going to benefit from the trade. Not as much as the farmer, but still both parties will benefit from the trade in terms of more goods available. So now, as we can see, the farmer gets more meat and more potatoes. The rancher gets more meat and more potatoes and both parties are better off in terms of the goods produced. And this is going to end the second part of Manku.